Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your Vbro once again in Tech Week. And so today in this video, I will be solving one of the greatest problems that is faced by a lot of the people that are using Phoenix. They are really much confused about the performance of that, of them getting out of PUBG and all the other kind of applications and games that they're playing on the day-to-day -day life. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how you can boost the performance of your Phoenix on your computer well, it, this will work for any sorts of computer. If you have a really slow computer or a very new computer, uh, the computer that I have right now is kind of new. It has all the specif uh, specification of my laptop will be there in the description. So you can just go ahead and check that out for yourself. And so these all, apply these all processes will work for you no matter what edition of um, computer you have. So first step is to install Phoenix OS Spectre Edition or Abstergo OS. Remember guys, there is a reason that I'm telling you to install these two, any of any one of them on your system. And those uh, points will be coming on in the future video, not future video in the future uh, duration of the video. Well, uh, there are special, there is a special feature that is available in Spectre OS or the Spectre Edition or the Abstergo OS. In both uh, of these two edition of uh, PUBG mods, there is a special feature uh, because of which um, this edition is like really good. So yeah, that's the first step. Install uh, Spectre Edition or Abstergo OS. All the important vi uh, links like installation video, download links will be there in the description. So you can go ahead, check them out. Uh, installation video is also made by one of my greatest friend abstergo he is a developer of abstergo os so huge shout out to you i recently made a review of abstergo OS. if you didn't just follow it out just go ahead and check the, the check that video it's really amazing so that's the first step install spectre edition or abstergo os and the second step is to uninstall g apps so yeah that's really important because you know like g apps takes huge junk of your resources like the precious resources that you have in like in your laptop like your laptop might have four gigs of ram or two gigs of ram and out of which like g apps just google play services uses huge amount of those resources so it's really important to get rid of them that's the second step and if you don't know how to do uh, it's only possible in spectre edition and abstergo OS. and that's the main reason why i told you to use Spectre Edition and Abstergo OS. So there is a feature. Let me go ahead to the terminal emulator. Whereas if you are in a um, in Abstergo OS or uh, Spectre Edition, you just can uh, press Alter and F1 to open up the terminal. And I'm not showing it because it will just crash the screen recording application. So here, as I'm using Spectre Edition, I'll be typing here SOS. And you can see there is uh, this uh, menu appearing. So hit any key. And now the next step you can see is a number four that remove uh, G apps, remove and restore. If you want to uninstall G apps, you have to hit four and it will just uninstall your G apps and then your laptop will reboot or your computer will reboot. If you are in AppCircle OS, uh, it's already free from uh, G apps. So that's really amazing. But if you're in Spectre Edition, the GApps is there pre-installed. So if you don't want, you can just go ahead and remove the GApps. And it will, trust me, it will uh, save a lot of your resources, like your pro performance, like your processing power, and also your RAM. It will just free up a huge chunk of them. And the third um, point is Mesa drivers. So it's really important, you know, like to use the important Mesa drivers and the kernels for Phoenix OS. You know, this video is not like the others who just say install LSP and stuff like that and just gone. It's important. Yeah, LSP is important. Performance tweaker is important. You all be bought important cheese app. Logo ka computer pe install karne ke liye. Agar ye sab nahi hai, to aapka performance mein hamper zaroor karega. Par main jo aapko ye looks ye jo tips de raha hu, these are really important. You know, this will work in like all of your computers and this is effective. So the Mesa drivers, yes, you might have a lot of um, doubts in your mind 
what are Mesa drivers and there are Mesa drivers like 17, 18, 19, 20 and how to choose the best one. Well, the 17.10, which is found in most of the uh, Phoenix um, developments, is the most stable one. And 17 is best for mostly all the computers. You know, like for me, let me just um, close this thing up. Let me go to the settings and go to about tablet. And you can see my um, Mesa driver is 18.3.6. The main reason for me using this is because that my performance uh, my computer is powerful enough, you know, like I use Mesa 18 and the performance is really great. But if you have a small or a low end PC, you should definitely go and try out Mesa 17. Only that, you know, you don't need to try out 18 or something like that. But if you still want to try Mesa 18, just go ahead in the description. There's a Discord server for both Spectre Edition as well as Abstergo OS. Go ahead and talk to the developer. He will be the best one to judge you out and also to help you out. So if you ask me, I would suggest you to stay with Mesa 17 drivers. Kernel driver, if you're interested in what is kernel and stuff like that. If your computer, if your Phoenix OS is booting up in your computer, then just skip the kernel part, you know, and if you're still interested, go ahead and ask the developers, they will help you out. Okay, so this was the number third. Uh, part. So number fourth is uninstall any unusual uh, application that you don't use. Like, for example, for me, like I'm using the Spectre Edition, there is no bloatware that pre-installed that comes pre-installed. And yeah, even this EV is kind of un un useless for me, but I just cannot uninstall it. But you know, it's there. Like if you're um, just installing whole bunch junk of applications over and over again, I would suggest you to just take a look uninstall them up and just free some of your precious resources. It's really important, you know, trust me. And that's number four. And number five is install LCP and uh, performance tweaker, which comes pre-installed in both Absurgo OS and Spectre Edition. So these two are really important. Just open up performance tweaker, root access will be uh, asked, just grant them. And you can see, just change the government to performance that's it for performance speaker and also for L speed. I made a dedicated video for it, so you can go ahead and check it out. So it's a really amazing um, application. Just set the profile to performance and that's pretty much it. It just gives you the best performance possible. And a sixth uh, point that I should notice and take into uh, look consideration is installing a GFX tool. Now guys, now many people did say that installing a GFX tool is bad for you. Like it will ban your account, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe so because I have been using GFX tool since I started playing PUBG Mobile. When I started PUBG Mobile, I started playing start I started using GFX tool, but now I haven't been banned. Trust me, guys. I'm true. I've been using it since the day, but it's not like um, I haven't banned my account. And if you're interested and if you want that, hey, people use version use GFX tool. Ga. It means if you want the kind of GFX tool that I use, then don't worry, the link will be there in the description of this version of GFX tool that I use. Don't worry, no ads will be appearing in this one. Ding! So if you just open this thing up, there are a huge number of, um, uh, what to say, uh, features and options to enable and disable. Just select the version of... Um, PUBG that you have, select the resolution. These are the settings that I use 1600 into 900 for you. If you have a low end PC, just crank it down. I would suggest you to go for um, 916 to 540. All right. So if you have a like a mid range spec um, computer, like a fifth gen or a fourth gen uh, core processor and an Intel HD 4000 or a bit more, then I would suggest you to go for 1280. If you have an older uh, processor, then I would suggest you to go to 768 because there's no other way. And also FPS to 60 and disable and low everything that the way that I have. You know, this is really great. And I have been using this version of GFX tool and it's just working great. Don't worry. Link in the description without any ads. It's awesome. You know, it's great. So that's these are the six little steps that I was talking about 
and these three steps will be helping out pretty sure and if you got any queries you know how to reach me down in the comment box below follow me out in instagram also we can talk in discord as well my discord as well as instagram usernames will be splashing up in the screen so you can go ahead and follow me out there it will be really great and yeah that's pretty much it i hope these all six steps work for you and yeah that's pretty much it guys have a great day god bless you all and god bless you all thank you now get the hell out of here